Hi guys, welcome to Constipation Nation. Um, yeah, we haven't done a video in a really long time and mostly personal reasons, I guess. I'm trying to lose weight and it's hard to do that when you're doing mukbangs. We're just gonna do a laid back mukbang today. We usually like take a long time to set it up and stuff, but we decided to just chill on my couch today and say fuck it. So, and we're just gonna be catching up in our conversation and stuff. We got Subway, I got a BLT, and then we have a big fruit platter. Yeah, let's dig in. <laughs> like, I've been eating nothing but fruit and V8 juice and like broccoli and noodles for weeks. So, this is kind of a treat. <laughs> I'm making a mess. So, what should we start with? Because there's been quite a bit. There's honestly so much to cover. Guess what I did today? <laughs> <laughs> I shaved off all my hair. That's why I'm wearing a beanie <coughs> slash winter hat. This is all I had. Not hating it, but I went to the hairdresser and she fucking murdered my hair. She murdered it so bad. And so I decided, fuck it, and I just shaved it all off. Have you ever so. felt, like, like wet doll hair almost? Mm. It's really weird to explain because, it's like, there's really no way to describe how the hair felt. But it's, like, the way I kind of told her, because I straighten her hair a lot, is basically there's a portion, it was, like, on this side of her hair, if you pinched it and pulled, it would just break right off. It was so thin and so damaged. And it was all the way to her roots. So there was no like, like, yeah, she could have done like deep conditioning treatments, but I tried, there was no coming back from it. I tried some stuff, but like, you know, you get to a point where you're like, fuck it. And last night, we had a really bad night. And I stay awake for so long because my hair... Like, it wouldn't even dry because of the fucking consistency of it, I guess. And so then I literally couldn't fall asleep because my hair smelled like mold. And I was showering every single morning and then it didn't do anything. And it would just start stinking and not being able to dry. So I just fucking cut it all off. And I actually felt really good. <laughs> it felt good. And it doesn't look bad either. It really doesn't. It's just her hair is so thick, so it's so poofy. Yeah. But, yeah. Other than that, Kristen is how far along now? Pregnant? 23 weeks. 23 weeks pregnant and fucking hating it. Yep. Mm. I know I said we were going to do a big gender reveal, but I'm having a boy. That's my gender reveal. I got too excited. I was gonna wait until he was born to like share with everyone the gender, but when I found out he was a boy, I got too excited and told everyone anyway, so there was always that. Mm. But. Mm. Mm. There's a ghost in Kirsten's house. Mm -hmm. Um, she's been having some really, like, fucked up dreams. Yeah, I, I haven't been able to sleep lately, because, like, sometimes it won't really affect me, and, like, I'll be in bed and, like, totally fine, and then other nights, I'll just, like, feel it there, and then I'll hear it walking in my house, <clears throat> and then it'll make me kind of aggressive in a way. And that's how I was last night, and out of nowhere I'll just get, like, extremely aggressive. And then, yeah, so I haven't been able to sleep. The only way I can actually get a good night's sleep is if I fall asleep before Daniel, just knowing he's awake and he's there. And then every night we've been going to bed at, like, 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, just because I can't get to bed because of it. And it, for some reason, only has been attacking me. Like, the other day, um... Me and Kristen were home and we smelt something burning 
and we have these heaters in our walls that like they're not even attached they have no electricity running to them and then all of a sudden we went in my bedroom and my curtains were smoking and if we wouldn't have noticed it they would have like burnt burst into flames and it's really scary like yeah that might not have been what it was but the feeling that I get from that thing is like really aggressive and Kristen has seen it I haven't seen it but I definitely feel it literally constantly and see what's really scary is like I mean I don't live here I mean basically most days but <laughs> like you know I'm here almost every day so like I do see it I'm like I mean I've only seen it a couple times but it's like you know, I can feel it there, too, and, like, everything she hears, like, most of the time I hear, and, like, I'm kind of a little bitch, so, like, if I hear something and it scares me, like, my brain shuts down and my reaction is to run away. Tell them about that day. <laughs> we were scaring ourselves, and, um, we were watching, like, Nuke's Top 5. I don't know if you guys ever watch Nuke Top, Nuke's Top 5, but, um, <clears throat> check them out. <laughs> Yeah. Not sponsored. <laughs> yeah, but... Like, he... He posts videos that, like... I personally... Think are better than all the other... Like, scary people who try to be scary, whatever. But... We were watching this creepy-ass video. And we heard a loud bang come from downstairs. And I did my crazy scream laugh and took off without Kirsten. And... I almost ran outside... And then she spilt her drink everywhere. And <laughs> I, was, I freaked out just because she screamed and ran away. And then I spilt my freaking fruit smoothie everywhere. And then Abby, she wouldn't get her shoes on. So then we couldn't go outside. And then she it, and I was like, cigarette. I was like, where's my smokes? Because <laughs> when I'm stressed out, I go right to smoking. Um, It was horrible. And then another day we were watching. I don't even know what we were watching. We were just watching something on the TV. And then all of a sudden, like, so we have hay in the back room of our house and because we take care of sheep and like when they're bottle babies and stuff and then like we heard the sound of hay crunching under people walking like and the, the sheep were not home and there was no one back there there was no animals back there and then it was like consistently walking back there and it freaked us the fuck out it was horrible it stresses me out and, like, it's really hard to, like, shower in that situation. Like, I only shower when Kristen comes over in the morning because I'm scared of being in that vulnerable state. And, like, every day I have to wait for her to come here so I can shower. <laughs> but, no, I was saying it's really scary. Sorry, I do, like, 10 million side stories before I get to my main story. But, so she's been having nightmares about this thing, like, walking into her room and, like, she wakes up screaming for her, like dan to wake up and i've also like i've started having nightmares about it like and i don't live here like but i've started having nightmares about this thing and like feeling like you know like that overwhelming feeling of dread and stuff i get that in my dreams a lot and it's weird because like i don't know if it's real or fake i'm not gonna just assume it's real but i'll wake up every time when i have those dreams and it will be from i hear something stomping and running at me and I'd never know if it's in real life that woke me up or if it was just in my dream. And then I'll wake up from that and scream Daniel. Like, it's horrible. And sometimes Daniel won't wake up right away because I, like, slowly go into it. I'm like, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel! And, like, I yell and, oh, it's so scary. It makes me feel so weak. I don't know what the sauce is. I thought, I thought it was, like, a yogurt, like... I don't know what it's called. I said it was like, like a cream cheese, like mixed with yogurt, maybe. It's really good. If you guys haven't had these fruit platters from Walmart, they have come with this little like sauce thingy in the middle. So good. Really sugary, but. Mm. Mm. Anyway, I wonder if I should eat that other half of the sandwich. I'm probably gonna regret it. I'm eating my other half. I'm hungry. Ooh. Ooh, it's so good. You know the worst part about being pregnant in the summer is it's so fucking hot all the time. And then it's like, you know, like I was already fat before I got pregnant, but now I'm like fat. Because I'm growing a human. Like I'm not complaining about getting bigger. 
I understand that's how pregnancy works. Like, yes, I'm very well aware that you don't just stay skinny during pregnancy. But I just feel really, yeah, like, yeah. bloated all the time. Huh? But I'm always hot. And I just feel like getting into my second trimester, I'm hungry all the time. Like, constantly. And I've it's gotten to the point where, like, you know, I'm not so sick anymore like I was in my first trimester. But once I, once I don't eat, if I am hungry, I instantly get sick. So that sucks. Shout out to all you ladies out there. So I can pop out like kid after kid. Yeah. Kudos to you because I can't do that. Garbage. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I guess I could talk about my weight loss. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure if anyone's really curious or not, but if you want to be caught up on my weight loss, I have been doing really good. I've been doing the Chloe Ting Challenge because that's been, like, really popular. And... Um, I've done it. <laughs> Abby's turning the camera. But, I have lost 12 pounds. I had to, like, the last time I talked about it, I was doing my workouts and stuff. And, of course, I ended up fucking cheating again and gained everything back plus some, which always happens. But, this time I promised... That I wouldn't do it like I know this sounds dumb but like I do I say honest to God and then if I say that then I can't break it I've never done that before <laughs> for the workouts because I was like no I'm definitely gonna cheat but yeah I promised Daniel honest to God that this time I would actually stick to it so it's been rough and like I started like actually like deciding that I was gonna make it a lifestyle rather than you know how, like, you starve yourself and then binge and blah, blah, blah. So, like, every morning I wake up and I drink my V8 juice and then I do my workouts and then stay active throughout the whole day. We even watch, like, TV show, like, we watch Parks and Rec and, like, we'll make workouts where every time somebody does something then I have to do a workout. So, like, I'm actually being dedicated and I've lost some weight in my face and, like, in my freaking stomach and... There will be a video, which I will be very embarrassed to share, but don't judge me. Because <laughs> at least I'm getting better. Yeah. But. I mean, she could just not be trying. No. Yeah. Oh. So. We almost decided, like... Since we're trying not to be fat or whatever, like, <laughs> to stop doing mukbangs. And we were going to make a video on it and stuff. But, like, I really like doing mukbangs. I think it's really chill to just sit here and talk and, like, take big-ass bites for you guys or something. And, I don't know. So, we're definitely going to stick to it. We're trying to do better. It's just hard to, like, try and do your mental stuff. And, plus, also do this often because you don't want to gain that weight back. And so, you might be getting, like, a lot of healthy ones for a while. But... We also still want to do a drunk video for you guys. I just turned 21 recently, so now we can legally do that. And it'll be, like, really funny, I'm sure. <laughs> it'll just have to be after I'm done being pregnant. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, like, I feel bad because we haven't done it so long. Mm. But. I mean. Like, you know, she's been going through her own stuff, and, I mean, this pregnancy's been really tough on me. Not that it's not been a blessing, but, I mean, you know, every fucking symptom that you could have gotten in the first trimester, I got. And then, you know, the second trimester, I still get sick, and mentally, I just haven't been in a very good spot, and that's been really hard. And so we were kind of working through our own stuff before we decided that 
you know, this was kind of a priority. And, like, at the time, it, this wasn't really, so. But we'll try to be more, do more videos again. My favorite one was the sausage and strawberry. This is the, th the thing that comes in the middle. I don't know what it is, but it's so mmm. Mmm, that was a freaking big bite. I'm gonna try it with a strawberry. Okay. Well, I'm moving back in with my dad. And then, yeah, and we're going to save up some money just because being an adult is hard. And sometimes you have to move back in with your parents. And it's okay. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. I'm not embarrassed. So, we're going to save up. I have a goal. I want to save up at least 10 grand before we move out. So, I want to do that in like a year or so. So, we'll see. <laughs> well, that's pretty much, I'm, I'm caught up in my life. Yeah. I was taking over the mukbang. Right there. Well, sorry that was kind of a laid back mukbang. We'll try and do better next time. We'll set it up and like make it look appetizing and shit. But we thought we'd just catch you up. We were going to do a video without food anyway, so might as well turn it into a mukbang. Yeah, that's that. So, we will see you guys next time. And if you like the video, give it a like. If you like our content, then please subscribe because Lord knows we need it. <laughs> And leave a comment if you have any da, da, suggestions da, da, da. on what we should do. But if not, hey. We'll I thought it'd be I thought it'd be fun if we did like a bowl where if people say like suggestions, we put it in a bowl and draw every time. That'd be cool. Mother yeah, if you guys want to do that, then yeah, leave a suggestion and we'll put it in a little bowl once we have enough, and then pull one out.